Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's go over how to calculate the mechanical advantage of an inclined plane. And you can use one of two formulas. One, you can use mechanical advantage is the slant length, which is L over the rise. And the slant length is this length right here, and the rise is there, okay? Or a second way you can use is uh, the angle I'm talking about at this angle right here. It's called the inclined angle. And you take 1 over the sine of the angle in radians. Okay, so let's work two examples that use both of these two formulas. Okay, this first problem is what is the mechanical advantage of an inclined plane with a height of 6 inches and a slant length of 12 inches? Okay, remember that the formula is, uh, we're going to go with L over V, so the slant length, it says, is 12 inches, okay? And the rise is 6 inches. And when you divide 12 by 6, you get 2. Remember, these cancel, and so the mechanical advantage is 2. Now let's work an example where we use the an angle. Okay, let's get started with this one. It's a little bit more involved. It says, what is the mechanical advantage of an inclined plane that has an angle of inclination of 20 degrees? Okay, the first thing we need to do, and I'm going to move this up, is that we need to convert the degrees to radians. And we can do this by multiplying 20 times, not 200, 20 times pi, and I'm just going to use 3.16 over 180. And when you multiply this out, you get uh, 35 hundredths. Okay. Okay. Let me give you just a little bit more detail. When you divide 303 and 16 hundredths or pi by 180, you get 175 ten thousandths. And then when you multiply 20 times point zero one seven five, that's where you get and I am rounding to just two places, the 35 hundredths. Now we're going to take this and plug it into the other formula. We're going to go 1, and we're going to divide it by the sine of 35 hundredths. Okay? And you'll use the calculator for this. And when you do that, you get 2 and 9 tenths. So... Whenever you have, let's go back to our original question, you have an income plane that has an angle of inclination of 20 degrees, you're going to get a mechanical advantage of 2 and 9 tenths. I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching. And remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.